really scary that happened to me. Okay, <laughs> should we go? What's up you guys, it's Pau and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Like a couple days ago was Jake and Valentina's wedding. So I'm gonna save the wedding video for possibly next week or if just for whenever Vale and Jayco upload their wedding video I'm gonna save it for after that Like the week after that But I did take some content in Miami That I didn't show So I'm gonna show that uh, Like basically everything that I vlogged before the wedding So let's roll the clip But before showing you guys the footage I want to thank today's sponsor Bloom For sponsoring this video I'm gonna make myself my greens right now Which I really need Because girl let me tell you Right now that I was in Miami I was not eating healthy at all I need to get my greens in one way or another This is a really fast and easy way to do so great for me because I be on the go so getting my greens in is just easier like this so there's a lot of benefits of taking bloom greens if you use it every day like you're intended to it's gonna help you with your digestion it's gonna help you with your energy give you more energy throughout the day and plus it's just a yummy drink I like the mango flavor thank you bloom once again for sponsoring this video if you guys want to check out bloom it will be in the description down below and now let's get good morning everybody so right now i'm about to get ready i have a nail appointment a much needed nail appointment actually let me, let me i'm not gonna get acrylics i'm not gonna get gel legs i'm getting freaking gel nail color girl we were supposed to go to the beach today but we just realized i don't know how we literally didn't think about this um we didn't bring a beach bag first of all what is this it's like a netadura Water's coming out hot and I want it to come out cold. <coughs> Bruh. So, first of all, we didn't bring a beach bag. That's our first problem. Our second problem. I don't know why I thought we were coming to a resort or something. We didn't even bring beach towels. So, I don't think we're going to be able to go to the beach anymore. I'm sad. I really want to go. Let me show you a before of my nails Yesterday I mentioned that I was gonna tell you guys Something really scary that happened to me I just found it so weird So this lady came up to me and she started telling me That she could like see my energy And she was oh, freaking dropped Oh my gosh right here She was like a tarot reader like intuitive Healer type of person She gave me her card telling me I could feel your energy Like there's a lot of things that you need to know all these things right and i i'm honestly like just trying to stay away from that type of thing so i was like oh really and like she was like um, there's a person in your life that you don't have contact with anymore and there wasn't enough trust and there wasn't communication which when she was telling me that it really didn't resonate with me so i was like oh that's weird what resonated with me is when she first came up to me, she's like, You're meant to be really successful and you're meant to travel the world. Like. Well, that did resonate with me, but then after she said about the other thing, I was like, mm, That's kind of like not really my situation. And then, this, this is not even the weird part, because right after that, I went to go check my DMs on Instagram, and a few hours earlier, I had got a DM from somebody that. And it's probably just a coincidence, but I just like it weirded me out a lot. And it was like a really scary DM. I don't even want to say what like the things that they said were gonna happen to me, but it was just like that something really bad was gonna happen to me basically. Um, but I don't want to believe in that. Like, no, I'm not gonna let that like take power over me. But it scared me a lot because it was a whole paragraph about how people were sending me male ojo and people were sending me like this and that. Um, like a whole freaking long paragraph and that I have to be really careful and stuff like that But of course at the end it was like oh like let me know if you want to like book my service Weird it was weird not two people in a row coming to me like that Guys I have not been in a nail shop in so long <laughs> We are about to head out. Let me show you our outfits for dinner. Completely different vibes, but it's okay because we both look cute. Vibes. I'm giving you're giving Senora and I'm giving Nina. <laughs> okay, we should go. 
We have a reservation in 20 minutes. This is 20 minutes away. You have the key, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't wanna find the one. No, no, no. Si de por si camino bien lento. It's tough for you. Could never be me though, cause I'm a walk. <laughs> Bitch, I look like a little girl. Look, I look like a little girl, and she looks like a señora. Then what the f do I look like? You look teacher? like a, a teenager. <laughs> I look like a school teacher, but like a hot so school guys. teacher. Hi, looks like a daddy. Hi, how are you? Good. I stole your hug. I'm like, let me give you a hug too. Oh, are you guys well? Thank you. Thank you so yeah, much huh? for grabbing our bag. Thank you. Yeah, oh, thank you're you guys welcome. so much. I, in the morning, I was like. <laughs> we came to the melting pot, you guys. I don't know how it works, but we have a big ass. Is it? Yeah, I'm not gonna touch it. I'm scared. Is it on? Because look, it's hot right there. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> are, are the rings hot? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain this next clip really quick because you're not going to understand if I don't. But basically, we were at this place, you guys, and we realized we were so overdressed at this restaurant. And we were like, hold on. We we're waiting there. We were waiting for like 10 minutes and the waiter still hadn't came, right? So during those 10 minutes, it kind of gave us time to like think like, do we really want to be here? Like, it's Miami. We're dressed up. It's like going super dressed up, super fancy to like freaking in and out type of vibe we were like we are not sure how we're gonna do this how we're gonna get out of it and then this is what happened let me mention guys the restaurant was like empty like there really wasn't a lot of people there at all so nothing bad nothing bad like happened but let me show you i'm mad at you guys and like yell at you guys and walk out and you guys look like you have to go uh-uh <laughs> And I'll be like, okay, cool. yes, you guys always bring me with all my friends. Hi, okay. my name is Iria. I'll be our server today. Um, we. Well, I have IBS, so like, I have like really bad stomach pain. Okay. Yeah, sorry. That's alright. We're gonna like some water right now. Um, I'll take the water. Thank you. Should we go? <laughs> Why didn't you take your medicine, bro? This is so embarrassing. Could I shit myself? Oh, Rick. Please. Don't I? You should just be here. Lord, stop. Okay. Should we go? <laughs> okay. My water, dude. <laughs> bro, drink your water. Just don't, bro. <laughs> please don't <laughs> yourself in the Uber, bro. Please. The Uber's about to get here, okay? Is it IBS? I've been. Shit. I feel a little better. <laughs> oh my God, so please, dude. Please take your medicine. That's kind of embarrassing, bro. <laughs> Does they have medicine? Oh, Rory! <laughs> He's so cute. Guys, we ended up coming to this restaurant. Look how cute. And we're gonna sit by the beach. These are appetizers. They got oysters. Do we need to go to like the balls? Balls, <laughs> balls for Gory. Yeah. We got I tried sushi to fried and calamari. I always get the fried fish. Yeah. And so the far, eyeballs? I tried the calamari. I eat the eyeballs. Oh, like, you did? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh like the basketball game? Just like Norgan and Yeah. Yeah, she's yeah. all yeah. like this. And he's talking to her. He was in the car. She was so far from him. She was talking to another guy in front of him. And then. Oh, yeah, she was said hi to somebody, huh? It was so. Like, 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 oh my gosh, oh my. I didn't know it was this big. <laughs> I didn't know it was this big. That was it for before the wedding day. The rest of the video will be in the wedding vlog, like I said. We have a lot of things on our schedule, first of all. I want to unpack. I need to go pick up Woody too. I almost missed my flight, guys. I was all confident going to the airport super freaking late. I got to the airport at 7.50 and my flight started boarding at 7.50 so you guys can only imagine my flight left at 8.30 but you guys I don't know how how 
it all ended up working out. I was able to go through the first class lane, even though I did not have first class. And they told me it was already too late to check my luggage, but they were going to check it just in case. And they were like, well, it might or might not make it onto your flight. I was like, okay, let's just hope for the best. Hopefully it makes it. If not, I'll have to make another trip to the airport to pick my luggage up another time. But as you guys can see, let us unpack this. I thought I had to pick up Woody right now, but the dog sitter said she's not gonna be home until 2.30. Which gives me a little bit over an hour, so I'm gonna go ahead and just wash my hair before I go pick him up. I was gonna wait till after, but... I'm gonna be using the Shea Moisture hair mask. I always use a hair mask once a week, you guys, and I leave the hair mask in for about an hour. I just do this to really moisturize and hydrate my hair whenever I wash it. I am patiently waiting for my haircut. It's about time. It's been like seven months since my last one. This is a little strange, but bear with me. One time I went out of my apartment like this. Never again. Our hair is washed. Now it is time to go pick up Woody. Yes, he's right there. The baby's here. Girl, he seen me take out the camera and he dipped real quick. Huh, you're camera shy all of a sudden? You're camera shy? Not him looking back. We're home now. I just finished up filming a brand deal. Hi, Papa. Say hi. Right now, I'm about to get ready. I'm just gonna do like some simple makeup, to be honest. I have a commitment. I regret committing to this. Honestly, since I've been like traveling and stuff, and literally, I got back home today, haven't really had a break all day. So I'm gonna be going to a screening. So you know what, let's do some quick makeup together. I'm gonna do simple makeup guys, like I really don't wanna do a lot. I don't wanna do too much. I'm gonna try this, I honestly forgot that I had this. It's like a glow primer from Rare Beauty. I don't think I even have tried it before. Ooh. Nice. I'm just putting concealer. And I'm gonna put some pink blush on love me some pink blush like I said keeping it really natural but blush does fade super fast so I am gonna go on top of that right now with a powder blush and it's gonna look a little bit less natural I'm not gonna contour I'm just gonna do bronzer instead so only bronzer today blush Good. Guys, update on my lip filler. My lips look bomb. <laughs> no, but I love how they turned out. Obviously, right now I have like lip gloss and stuff on. They look super natural. They're still a little bit swollen. She told me it's gonna take four weeks to fully, fully, fully like situate. Super glad you guys, because last time I got my lips done, it was a nightmare. So if you ever are gonna do any beauty, cosmetic, like anything, lip filler, surgery, like anything you do. Do a lot of research. Do a lot of research. No matter who you're going to, like, just do a lot of research. I just got here, you guys. I'm about to take a picture. Not the zoom not working. I forgot my camera at home. I did not realize this is like a big event like this. <laughs> oh my god, I should have brought somebody. I realized I forgot to fill you in. I did not fill you in. I barely even vlogged, but let me tell you. Basically, as you guys saw, it was a screening for the new season of the show. What was it called? I'm so bad. I'm sorry. With love. With. I went by myself, which was a little new for me. I, dude, I got there and I saw somebody sitting down on at a table by herself, and I was like. Too. So let me go to her because it feels less intimidating than going to like a big group of people. Went to her, I was like, hey, like can I sit here? And I ended up sitting down and we just ended up talking. And then we got food and then we watched the show. And I ended up seeing somebody that I met at another event before. And I talked to her for a little bit. I felt good about myself because I stepped out of my comfort zone a little bit. Like I actually talk to people, you know, get in my head sometimes a lot. When it comes to talking to people, I don't know why I get super anxious, like, not all the time, just sometimes, certain times, I get really anxious, and it's really weird because it's like, I think about it, I'm like, what are you scared of? 
why are you scared like they're literally a human being just like you literally why are you scared like there's no reason for you to be scared so i like try to tell myself like don't be scared i want to try to take a communications class or something like that something similar because i really want to improve in the way that i speak to people and just be able to connect with people more things like that like i that's one of my biggest things that i want to do let me just go on a whole rant right now it's been a long day i did a lot of things that i didn't even record i'm gonna keep vlogging for the rest of the day and then i'm gonna finish off the vlog um i feel like this vlog wasn't that eventful but next week you guys next week i have a lot of things but well, i have something on its way right now but before that special something arrives i need to put my salmon to deep frost i'm trying it's it's hard out here i forget i forget to cook sometimes it is like i feel like i have so many things that i have to always keep up with that i'll just i find it just way easier just order food but the only reason that i don't want to order food is because damn, i also really want to eat healthy and i really want to like feed my body good nutritious food i wish i had a private chef bro <sighs> my life would be so much easier trust me soon enough i'm gonna have a private chef soon enough my rich husband is gonna hire me a private chef mark my words okay mark my words and now it has to happen because i'm not about to get embarrassed by not having a private chef that my future husband hires anyways we're gonna defrost our salmon two two slices of salmon you know what i realized guys keeping a house clean is so much work it's never ending and I kind of been knowing this already. For those who say being a stay-at-home mom or just staying home and like cleaning and cooking is not a lot of work, girl, yes, it is. It's a lot. And shout out to all the moms out there. Shout out to all the oh. <laughs> shout out to all the stay-at-home moms. Shout out to all the moms that work. Like, girl, you have two jobs. That's crazy. Always appreciate your parents, you guys, because this is not, this ain't for the week. And this is like, girl, I, I have it easy, you know? This is not for the week, though. It's here. It's here. The thing I told you guys that I got is here i'm gonna eat this while i watch sex in the city i've been watching this recently why was my mama watching this when i was like seven years old i don't i mean i don't remember the scenes but there's like a lot of them i mean the show is called sex in the city so it makes sense but i honestly just love the story like it's just all these girls in the city and they're young and they're living their life and like i like watching it they're relatively young they're like 30 something but i when i watch them i feel like they're my age for some reason i guess because they don't have like husbands or they're not married they don't have kids so it's more like it feels like we're the same age i've never had pasta from this place before but i ordered chicken alfredo i love chicken alfredo so i am about to devour this taste test real quick if you guys haven't ate yet girl what are you doing please eat something and you could eat together with me I needed this in my life first okay that is gonna be all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching don't forget to give the video a huge thumbs up like comment share and subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye